Hello everybody, it's Frankie Day here from Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, uh, topic of this video is um, um, living the dream and moving on. Okay guys, uh, this has happened about seven months ago. About three days after my wife passed away, I received a notice from Ryan Home Developments. And they're building new home tracks around my area. And people who are living in their houses had to move out. To me, when I heard that, I kept it in me. I wanted to let nobody know what's going on because. And uh, right now, it's, I think it's time for me to tell everybody out there in YouTube. Uh, you know, all my wonderful family out there is that a uh, well, Frankie Day's got to move. Yep. Now, you look at all this, all this up here, all this, all that behind me, and down below the Boson Locker. I got probably about two or three thousand models down there in boxes. And uh, they got to be moved. Well, I was looking for a home. I can't find a house out here in Ohio. Lot for sale. After what happened to me, I will never buy a house in the state again as long as I live. So there's other routes to go to. So I got me a trailer. It's a 40-foot trailer. Now, a lot of you out there are probably wondering, Frank, what the hell are you gonna put all your models at? All those are not gonna fit the trailer. This I do know. But there's always a, a solution to every problem. I bought six. Ten by sixteen foot, ten foot high storage sheds. All those storage sheds going to house all my models, and I got down for the size. I got about two rooms of models packed up already in, in big boxes inside my shells, inside my storage area. I'm going to start building rafters across there and start laying plywood across there so I can have an upper level of my models and down below so uh, with six uh, storage facilities I'd be able to, um, to house my models because I'm not gonna leave them here for somebody to throw in a trash can because every time you throw away something like that it's throwing away a piece of my life away and uh, I know I can't take them with me but as long as I'm alive I'm gonna hang on to them the best way I can any way I can so like I said, I can't find a house to rent out here in Ohio. I can't. I can buy a house. I got eighty thousand dollars for my home, so I got that much money coming in for my home. I'll be going on the cat probably by August. That's probably the quarter next month. So I'll be able to sneak in a few videos, a couple of videos there. And if I'm absent for about a week or two weeks, uh, don't worry about me. If Frankie D is healthy, I'm just moving. Then when I move. I'll get back on, back on the, on YouTube again, and I show you my home. And uh, I feel like I'm trailer trash right now, living in a trailer. But there's no shame living in a trailer. I mean, I know I'm not trash. And uh, it beats the streets. Being 76 years old, I can't, I'm too old to move all over the place again like I used to. So I just figured the best way, the only way to do is buy yourself a nice big trailer, put it out in the lot, kick back and watch a cactus grow. And that's what I did. And uh, so I got me a trailer, we got me six storage facilities, they're delivering down there to the big trailer right now. And who live in my house is about 40 miles away. I'm well, living that now. I'm living in Perry County, New Lebanon, Ohio. <clears throat> the only thing bad about it is I can't find any large bodies of water to put my radio control boats in. 
So I'm gonna have to go right back to my favorite Metro Pond like I've been going for years and just uh, go there, which ain't very far, you know. And, but you know, it, it's just uh, everything came on me too sudden, you know. Like I say, guys, you never know what's going around the corner. Nobody knows, you know. I mean, three days after the death of my wife, and I was in tears, and and uh, you know, then I get hit with this news, and all of a sudden, says Jesus Lord. Oh boy, what's worst can happen to me is be dying. That's about the worst that can happen to me right now. But right now, I'm in good spirits. I got me a home. It may be not be a tangible structure that I planted on the ground, but it's got six wheels. I could take that thing anywhere around this country if I want to. And uh, I got a lot of long tivity, long, long in my in my family. I have two ants that, that are alive right now. They're 106 years old. And they're proactive. They go up, they're busy, they're working and everything. A lot of people think that's a shock, you know. It's just good genes. And working hard all your life. Like you're saying, hard work hurts nobody. We sit down and, and enjoy the love of money, you know. And money makes you lazy. And there's one factor that money does to people they don't understand, which catches on later in life. It's called your health issues. Because it makes money makes you so comfortable when you don't want to work, don't do nothing. That's the objectivity about having money, is to make life easy for you. But me, I may have had a little money one time, but I always worked all the time. I do, I'm working seven days a week now at my age. A lot of people, I do things that at my age, it, people don't do. People don't have the, uh, the test, they're just lazy. Just plumb lazy. And some can't help it. But in spite of all that, guys, uh, that's, it's, uh, it came to me as a blow, you know, I had to move. Then I started, then I started getting all these negative waves going through, oh, Frank, we gonna do all these models, my God. And so, I hunted day, and if I got off work, I, I spent all day and night looking for places to rent, there's nothing to rent, everything's for sale out here. And like I said earlier in the video, fellas, I ain't no dang way I'm going to buy a house out here in the state again. It's because you'll, be, you'll fall victim of either taxes you haven't paid for city taxes for your house or progress. You can't stop progress. I feel victim of progress. I'm not alone. You got about 600 people out here around my area where I live at who lost their homes. I'm just one of them. And uh, like I say, I, uh, I'm very proactive. I don't want to be caught my pants down. So I acted as fast as I could. And so I got me a nice beautiful trailer. It's got a washer, dryer, beautiful stove, microwave. Uh, we got air conditioning. I got two bedrooms. And I got a lot of place space to put some of my good models. And a lot of them got to be back boxed up and put in those uh, storage facilities when I ordered and bought. And they're delivering them to my trailer tomorrow. I went down my nards and bought them. The guy goes, man, you must got a lot of stuff. I said, yes, I do. A lot of stuff. This is what do you got? So I'm not going to get into it. Uh, how much you owe you? So I paid cash. I think each one of them ran $1,100. I think 1100 bucks a piece they were. All wood. And, uh, so I could put air conditioning in there too. And uh, so that's what's shaking now, guys. That's the reason why I've been making back-to-back -back videos like I normally also all these hangouts I've been having. I like to have. And that's why I shut down my Denmark. That's why I shut down my Norse glove and my beautiful uh, side steamer over here, my Portland steamer. So I, I'll put those on hold until I get moved. And uh, so that's that's what's shaking, guys. But right now, I'm farting around with this. Now I got the Mars coming up, and I got the HK 148 scale B17. I will have those done and finally revealed before before I, I lock down to my new home. Then I'll start up again and, and catch up on my on my. Uh, Portland steamer and a lot of other things I got going on. <clears throat> so right now I saw this, I said, what the hell, you know? 
I see so many Hawker Hurricanes on Struck Eagle models by by Mr. Mr. Warren and uh, God bless the guy he has a lot of beautiful looking beautiful looking uh, hurricanes so I got this one here it's 124 scale I believe this is a, this will be the second uh, 124 scale hurricane that I build on YouTube and it'll be the third one I've ever built in my life so I figured to give it a go with this give me something to do and uh, so that's about what's shaking guys so that's the important video I'd like to give everybody like I say if I'm not online for about a good week or two weeks don't worry I'm, I'm, I'm healthy I'm good shape I'm just moving and getting things going and uh, I'll be back right back in the saddle again just a, a short sabotage you know just that's all it is you live in that trailer I'll be building a lot of these One small 172nd scale jobs. I can put a lot in there. But when it comes to big johns like I always build, they gotta be put in storage. I can build I can build in there. I can build. But I can't uh, display them. Cause too big. So these are a few uh few um, um things you gotta sacrifice for. Compromise. So where the trailer is, you got a downsize. But you got all this stuff, it's wise to just put it in storage. So I figured, what the hell, you know, I, if I put this stuff in storage, I have to drive all the way out there, and I got a kink about leaving my gear adrift. I like to have it where I can see it. I know it's there. When I put those six of those sheds right behind my trailer, I can see all six of them right there. And I know my models are just arms away of grabbing them, and that's it. Okay, guys, that's about it right now. I'm gonna get some chow right now, get something to eat, get cleaned up a little bit, and uh, work on my Hawker Hurricane, and uh, probably post a couple pictures on Strike Eagle models and on Warren's uh, modeling page. Maybe delighted to see these. Okay, uh, so I got two more bills. I got my three bills, uh, final bills coming up before I shut everything off. That'll be this week. So stay posted for those, guys. And like I say, like I said for the third time, you know, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm shut down for about a week or two weeks, don't worry. I'm, Frankie's okay. I'm, I'm moving. And uh, we'll be up a homesick for this house once I'm gone because I've been here for a long time. 20 years. So uh, everything will be okay, fellas. Alrighty then, that's about all I can say, guys. This is the message that I can tell everybody. And uh, <laughs> I just can't believe I got a trailer. First time for everything to say. Huh, you look at it another way too, you know. But something else better comes along. And you need to leave the stake, get the hell out of Dodge. Get back to your trailer and get my truck out there and just pull it. Where do we want to go? I think my lot fees, a lot's $310 a month. That, that covers utilities and just keep your, your trailer there. A lot of people keep to themselves out there. I observe the trailing. A lot of people around my age. So I feel pretty safe about that. In the case, like I say, if things get crazy, you ain't going to come where I'm at. So that'll be it. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off for Frankie Day Models. Again, please make Mama happy. And take care of your children. Take care of yourselves. And please be, please be careful out there, guys. Wear your mask, wear your gloves, do what you got to do to keep yourself safe. But this stuff ain't over with yet. I mean, heck, we got fall coming up. It's just around the corner. And you got old man winter coming up, blowing some snowballs our way. And that's when the shit's really gonna hit the fan. So we got to be very, very careful out there in public. They got a lot of people out there are brazen. They don't have no shame. They don't care. So don't be like them, fellas. I need you guys. You guys need me. We need to be healthy and, uh, and keep our hobby going. And uh, this is a wonderful uh, modeling community. And I, 
I had such a host of great friends that turned into family members. And uh, things will be okay. Things will get better, guys. I'm optimistic. I, I'm never pessimistic about nothing. What's good or what's bad turns good. Okay, Spank Day signing off, Spank Day models. You guys take care of yourself. God love you guys. And please stay uh, stay tuned uh, for the. I'll have the PS1 that I, I've been working on here last night. So I got the buff. I just got a little touch up painting on it and it's all done. So I got that and I got the uh, Martin Mars coming up your way. Then I got the HK Models 148 scale B17 of UK Modelers National Pride Group build. So I got that shaking this week. So I got three of them coming your way. I'm farting around with a 124 scale. Hawker Hurricane. Oh well. Gotta keep my hands moving and keep my mind going. Okay, make your day out of here. You guys take care of yourself and God love you, fellas. I love you guys. You guys take care and please be careful out there. Okay, fellas? This is Make Your Day signing off. God bless you all.